This is a double batch. Mix the water and the gelatin until you get this consistency. Then place in refrigerator from one to three hours. The longer, the better. After the refrigeration process of one to three hours and it solidifies, remove from refrigerator, place on stove, put on low heat, and slowly heat it till it liquefies thoroughly. Once it liquefies thoroughly, you can now add the peroxide. The peroxide will lighten the color and make it more clear. After thoroughly stirring in the peroxide, it is now time to pour into your mold and place in the refrigerator for 24 hours and you're done. Alright guys, we got the uh, homemade ballistics gel. We are going to uh, put some gloves on. But we're getting ready to set this up at 150 yards and we're going to do about a thousand thirty and then we're going to go to about 1150 1145. let's go get everything set up um and get to shooting guys i think this thing is about four inches tall one two three up uh, about four inches four inches tall and uh I think uh, 11 inches long, so let's hopefully hopefully it won't over penetrate. Let's see. <laughs> hey guys, Cedric with Too Fast View HPA Adventures. Today we got to go quick. We are going to shoot some 50 grain boat tail hollow points out of the 224. Not that quick. <laughs> out of the 224, 145 yards into ballistics gel. Um, one of the little things I do recommend guys, especially guys that want clear ballistics gel, always use gloves because your fingerprints and anything on them will be left on gel. The clearer it is, the uglier the fingerprints look. So anyway, let's get to shooting guys. 145 yards. We're going about uh, one point. Um, 1.4. All right, we're going to do one at subsonic, one at supersonic. Let me test the point of aim. So I have a target set up at the ballistics gel at 145 yards. This will ensure I am properly sighted in to make an accurate shot. I do believe that was a bullseye. Okay, let's go 1,050. So 1,050 first, here we go. Aiming at the top portion of the gel. Please. I heard an impact. <laughs> Let's go check it out. 1,044.7. We're off to a good start, I hope. Let's go see. All right, guys, we're approaching the target. First thing we got to do is turn off the uh, main camera, recording in slow motion. Oh, that went right through it. <laughs> I can see it on video. Gosh, that went right through. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, well, let's go over here and look at, oh, I see some, oh my goodness. I see some lead. So here's where I was doing my validation. As you can see guys, 1045, 1048 right in the freaking bullseye, 145 yards guys, 145 yards, that's how I knew. And this looked like it hit right where I aimed, hold on, I'll get this off of a, oh man, look at that. Let me turn this over a little bit. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow. There's your typical uh, expansion. Man, look at that uh, wound cavity. And then you could tell it was spinning. Let's see if I can get a better. Look at that. That bullet tracked perfect. Look at the hit. 
there you go right there all right so I'm gonna go do this again now I'm gonna go about 1150 1145 1150 and I know it now it's going to go through those 50 grainers are no joke guys they're no joke on these squirrels 1137 here we go here we go guys for the gusto hoping for about 1150 1146.2 that seemed like a good hit let's go take a look <laughs> all right guys <laughs> the moment of truth nope now it went all the way to the left well that's fine because at least this one stayed in so it is what it is it's hard trying to get all this and uh, read the wind at the same time but we got two good hits so the ballist the 15 percent ballistics gel is is really good um i can't say anything's wrong with the gel uh 50 grain you know medium sexual density medium uh bc uh even though it's a large mouth hollow point when that hollow point breaks up there's a lot of core behind it and that core drives through so it does not surprise me that at 145 yards that i'm not capturing the slugs um i can see at a thousand what was that a thousand forty five or so i could see one was about to be captured i probably if i slowed them down a 950 at the muzzle easily it would capture them maybe that'll be next time but pretty good results for right now um, i'm happy with the mixture but that was pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed the short little video of ballistics gel testing with the 224 uh noble subsonic and supersonic and my new 15 percent ballistics gel mixture i like it you can really hear this thing thump down range it, it's got some <laughs> i can't make the sound but it's got it something like that but i want to show you guys something and this is kind of what i expect guys the one thing about these custom calibers and custom molds the hollow points are really big but they're designed to be big not for long range performance but they do help long range but what they will do is they will dump their energy really quick and then the core will continue to penetrate just like what you saw in the ballistics gel and there are fragments in that gel. There are fragments. So this thing did fragment. These are small game rounds. These are not, you know, deer and pigs and stuff like that. <laughs> this is an air gun, 224 cal custom air gun. So it is doing exactly what it should do. Go inside of rabbit, squirrel, coyote, dump energy within that first inch or so and continue to expand as it's speeding through. And as you saw in that permanent wound cavity in that first one at 1050 you can tell it opened up three quarters of an inch in and it continued to open and continue to make a crazy uh permanent wound cavity but there are some fragments guys this part was just outside of the uh the mold so i don't know if that uh bounced off or if that's what came out of the mold and uh, landed on the other side before it hit the steel plate. But there are some fragments. And there's your, your base. Yes, sir.